Hey, what's up all you gun guys and gun goddesses? Welcome back to another episode of Gun Goddess TV. I am Gun Goddess 314. Today's episode, I am here at Reef Snyder Conservation Area. Um, Today is going to be a 40s video. It is, I am shooting the Glock 22, but also the Glock 27. The Glock 22 is a full size um, 40 millimeter, uh, 40 Smith & Wesson and the 27 is a subcompact 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, I typically prefer the 22 over the 27, but that's just because my hands are small and I don't really like the subcompact Glocks, but let's check it out. All right, guys, as I stated before, this is a 40s video. This is the Glock 27 caliber and 40 Smith & Wesson. It is a subcompact. Um, there is a, a laser on it, but I don't use it. And this is the Glock 22. It is the full size 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, yep, so we're going to check these guys out, um, starting with the 27. Now, this is a semi-automatic pistol. It has a polymer frame, a steel slide. Um, Glocks don't typically have external safeties. They have the trigger safety, as you can see here. Uh, it looks like there's two triggers. Um, you have to pull both in order to fire the firearm. Um, it comes with a 10-round magazine, but as you can see here, it has a pinky extender, so it has 13 rounds. Next, we're going to go with the Glock 22. It is the full-size semi-automatic pistol. Some shoots 40 Smith & Wesson. Um, it's got the polymer frame, the steel slide, as you can see, the trigger safety, um, and it typically comes with a 15-round magazine. Now, I like this gun just because it fits better in my hand. It's a lot more comfortable. Um, they do call it the police pistol. It is the most commonly used by police officers. Um, I can see why. It's easier for me to control with the recoil. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I like this better than I do like the 27. Um, it's a pretty good gun.
that's gonna be all for this video guys don't forget to like subscribe and share with all of your friends and i'll catch you on the next episode peace love and happiness